So we know you have a lot of questions, and we've got the experts right here with answers on the Jody Arias trial. Joey Jackson, Meg Strickler. All right, so here's a question from Barbara on Facebook. She says, if one commits a crime like murder and throws, and it throws that person into a fog, a.k.a. Jody Arias, then how under the law can that person use fog as a defense when the suspect caused the fog, Joe Jackson? <laughs> well, here's what happens. As a defense attorney, you have to examine the evidence and pick what defense is going to work best. Now, you have to pick your poison because, like this particular 13th juror, you might pick something and the juror can't quite understand it. How can you claim self-defense if you don't remember the incident? How can you make certain representations about what happened to you when you don't remember the incident? So you can defend on any ground you think is appropriate. Will the jury believe you? That's the question. And by the way, that's where Richard Samuels comes in to help explain why she exactly. doesn't remember it. So, Meg, got a question for you. This is from uh, one of our viewers on Facebook. She says, uh, this is Bobby asking on Facebook. So what if she had has PTSD? It would be a result of her killing Travis. Is PTSD supposed to excuse her from committing premeditated murder? I think what they're trying to achieve here mm -hmm. is that she's a victim of PTSD. In other words, she suffers from PTSD. Yeah. And so therefore, all this abuse that led up to whatever's, her, 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 this is like a building block, so that she went into a dissociative fugue during all this, and hence went into the rage and doesn't remember any of it. But what's not working is the puzzle pieces don't connect. Okay. We're not being able to, the defense has not been able to put a good enough story here, a storyline, like Joey just said. The jury's got to have a ha hook to hang on to understand what the heck they're trying so you to convey here. You mentioned the hook to hang on. Real quick here, if you're trying this case, do you try to establish more hooks or just the PTSD hook and well, see if it works? Well, I personally think she's got a whole lot more. They need to create a whole nother DSM criteria for Jody Arias. They need to have a whole, the, the APA needs to create a DSM-5 for her. And then that might work as a defense. But right now, this PTSD is not enough. They might and, do that, Meg. I tell you, they <laughs> very this well might. Yes. Well, I'll tell you what, they're <laughs> hanging their hat on PTSD, and so the jury's got to believe it as a major part of their case. We'll it's see what working. they decide. Thanks, guys.